Hey guys, it's Toast again from the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. With the proliferation of drones on the market and how many people are doing a lot more videography, I thought I'd show you all a few, well, tricks that I use and gadgets that I use. What I have here in front of me is my uh, DJI Spark drone, and I've got an inexpensive Steadicam uh, grip that basically turns it into a gimbal kind of stabilizer camera. Let's take a look at it. So guys, beyond my obsession, addiction, for fishing and, and kayaking and boating and water sports and outdoors and all that stuff, I love gadgets. I love photography. Obviously, I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a couple of different drones here. I've got one they use inside the house, a little toy, little you know, mini drone. Uh, I've got this, a DJI Spark. Uh, I've also got a unique Q500 uh, 4K that I use. This is my really big unit that I use for a lot of the really high aerial shots. But this I keep in a small dry box and actually fit inside the hatch of my kayak. So this is a cool one. There are a ton of people that have these. This is a really big, popular model in the market. It's been around for a while. It's got a 1080p camera on it. But enough about this. Uh, one of the things that every videographer wants is a gimbal or a steady cam for their filming, right? Well, when you think here, with your DJI Spark, that 1080p camera that it has on there, it's on a gimbal. Well, somebody decided, hey, let's get a little grip and make a handheld stabilizer that holds the drone. Therefore, you basically have a gimbal. And a lot like a lot of these other uh, drones in the market, some of them you can take the cameras off of them, has a handheld attachment to make a gimbal out of it, a, a steady cam. Well, this one actually takes the whole drone. So let's take a look at it and uh, see what this thing actually looks like. Uh, this I picked up online off of eBay for just under $9 uh, quite some while time back. I got it for $8.52. Again, a lot of it all depends upon the exchange rate. And I'll put a link down below. So if you actually watch this video on YouTube, just go down to the description. You can click on it. I'll find the uh, cheapest one I can find right now and put it down there. But uh, right now, when I take a look at it, uh, there is a uh, link on eBay right now for one, uh, $8.96. So still just shy of $9. That one's got $1.39 shipping on it. So most of these are coming $8 to $10.50 ish in that price range. Uh, when you take a look down at the description and so forth on it, it's kind of self explanatory. There's really not much to it, even on the description. But uh, this is basically what you get when you get it. Uh, the actual mechanism at the top, it has one of those uh, pretty standard looking expanding cell phone holders. Again, you can get the tripod, like the, the selfie sticks at Dollar Tree that basically have something like this. Not quite as nice. Most of this is actually 3D printed too, so you can actually tell when you're taking a look at it. But you have your camera, basically what you hold here, your, uh, your cell phone. And it expands, holds it in there, and it's kind of gasket. It's got rubber in it, and that just sticks down in there and has a little wing nut on it. Uh, so here you got the nice grip on it. There's some you'll find in the market actually have a quarter twenty uh, threading in the bottom of it. You can actually attach it to a tripod, which actually makes it kind of cool. This one doesn't. This one just looks like a uh, pretty cool. You can finish on it, 3D printed. A uh, little holder here. Not much to it. And it just goes inside that little grip. Then, with this here on the top, you can see here it kind of expands. Uh, that's also gasketed with some rubber on it. So basically take this and you simply spread it a little bit. And it clicks right there. And holds the drone. So again, this is set up for a uh, DJI Spark. It's one of the smaller compact DJIs. And then simply take your phone holder to the top of it and attach it there or so. So uh, this simply screws on. And it actually makes basically just one big grip for your drone. Now much to it, simple idea.
put your phone in here, point and shoot. You start it up like you normally would flying it. You're using your uh, phone, your app on the phone, just to do your you know, filming on it and just holds it just like that. So the big thing is you just want to make sure you don't start spinning your props around. Anywho, I got a little bit of footage of it too. Does it work? Yeah, it does. I uh, really uh, just got to keep in mind that the uh, camera on the Spark is not the uh, most high dollar gimbal on it. But basically you're using the stabilization from the camera, the camera on the drone to begin with. And you're simply just, pick, basically it's almost like walking around with the drone in your hand. But does it work? It absolutely does. And it makes a really cheap option compared to to a lot of those stabilizers, you can put a GoPro or something like that on it. And you can actually record audio and all that through your phone and all that too, so it's pretty cool. So if you have a DJI Spark, go online, you can find these. Again, you're looking right around $10 for them, and they definitely work. So it's not, you know, you're, you're basically relying upon the capabilities of the camera on the drone, but uh, if you like the type of footage you're getting off the uh, DJI Spark, go on there and pick one of these up. It's a bunch of different ones available. Uh, there's a couple different types too. There's one that you might see is actually a tripod with an attachment like that on the top of it too, which also works as a grip. Anyhow, that's what you're looking at. Ten buck ish price range for it. Is it worth it? Yeah. Does it do what it says it does? Yeah. It's a cool little accessory. You know, if anybody's got a little spark from DJI. It's a cool little tool to have on your tool belt. Anyway, heck, we'll keep coming with all the, the fishing and kayaking and kayak fishing videos and lure reviews and all that stuff. And we're gonna throw a few uh, tech videos in there too, just cause it kinda goes hand in hand and most of us now are doing a lot more filming when we're on the water. So if you haven't yet, go down below, give us that thumbs up, subscribe to the Fish Yacker channel on YouTube. You can follow me at John Ose on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can also like the fishyacker.com page on Facebook. We'll catch you on the water, guys. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.